Hello everyone to the events of Oliver Twist novel. Written by Charles Dickens. Summarized and prepared by Mrs. Walla Samir. Audio recorded by AI Technology. Chapter 17. Monks meets Mr. Brownlow. Mr. Brownlow caught Monks with the help of two strong men and took him to Mr. Brownlow's house. Monks was unwilling to get into a back room in Mr. Brownlow's house. So, he gave his orders to the two men saying, he knows the choice. If he hesitates, drag him into the street, call the police, and have him arrested as a criminal. The thing which Monks didn't like. He asked Mr. Brownlow about the authority he had to kidnap him like that. Mr. Brownlow said that it was he who gave this order. Monks calmed down and got into the room blaming Mr. Brownlow that he was an old friend to his father and treated him this way. Mr. Brownlow called Monks by his real name saying, I'm treating you gently Edward Leaford, even now. Monks wanted to know why he was there. Mr. Brownlow confronted him that he had a brother. The thing which Monks denied. Mr. Brownlow reminded him that his father had an unhappy marriage with his mother and they had an only son Edward so-called Monks. They separated. Monk's mother had gone to live in another country. But his father stayed, made new friends, fell in love, and got married to a young woman. She was pregnant when Monk's father was called to Rome to see a rich relative who was dying. The relative died and left all his money to Monk's father but he fell ill in Rome. Then his mother arrived bringing monks with her. The next day his father died apparently leaving no will. But the fact that the last time he went to Mr. Brownlow, he gave him a portrait he had drawn for the poor girl, he wanted to give a portion of his future riches to monks and his mother and then leave England with the girl. Mr. Brownlow tried to get to the girl and her family, but they had left their home. By chance, Mr. Brownlow rescued the poor neglected brother. I lost him, monk's mother was dead by then. So it was monks who only could solve the puzzle. Mr. Brownlow heard that monks was in the West Indies. He went to look for him, but found that he had left for London. Mr. Brownlow couldn't find monks in London. In the last two weeks, Mr. Brownlow got the whole story. Monks had a younger brother and he knew about him. There was a will that referred to Oliver, which his mother destroyed. Monks went to where Oliver was born and destroyed the proof of his real parents. Fagin was Monks' partner in the crime who said, the only proof of the boy's identity lies at the bottom of the river and the old woman who received the proof from the mother is in her coffin. Now, it was Monk's turn to tell the truth in front of the two witnesses. Mr. Brownlow asked Monk's to pay back what he owed to the innocent child. Suddenly, Dr. Losburn entered the room telling Mr. Brownlow that Sykes would be arrested tonight and Fagin will be caught by the police, too. Mr. Brownlow and Dr. Losburn left Monks in the room, locked it till they come back. 
The questions in this chapter are Answer the following questions 1. What's Monk's real name? How did Mr. Brownlow know him? 2. What's the relation between Monks and Oliver? Why did he hate Oliver? Comment on the following quotations. 1. He knows the choice. If he hesitates, drag him into the street, call the police, and have him arrested as a criminal. If you felt like this content is beneficial to you, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next chapters. Bye.